to the off-grid family. Today I'm going to be showing you how to run a washing machine motor like one of the universal motors off a 12 volt battery. Now, oh, they're heavy. Still heavy. But you're so big. But um, I've got loads of these. Uh, every time someone says, oh, my washing machine packed in, I'm like, could I have it? And then I'll take out all the bits I want, which is the motors. Not Normally the motors are fine. I've, I think out of the like 10 I've taken apart, I've had one motor that isn't working. But I managed to get it working again. It was just a case that it had clogged up with rubbish and it just needed a clean. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to get this running off a 12 volt battery because these things can be so useful. You know, if you've got this um, connected up to anything, you know, you can make so many different things from these. And being able to run them from a 12 volt battery just means that, you know, you've got something that can be solar powered. One thing I wanted to say was I've got very few subscribers that watch my videos. It's about 10%. Um, I'm not 100% sure now, I can't remember. But the last time I looked, it was around 10% of people who watch my videos are subscribers. So that means 90% of people, well, 90% of you who are watching my video now are not subscribed. If you don't mind just clicking the subscribe button, it will really help me out. And um, I don't really like asking, but every time I ask, I get an influx of more subscribers. And the more I have, the more uh, companies look, like to look at my pro uh, projects, and then they will help me with bits and bobs so I can make bigger and better projects so you know it'll help us all out in the end if I can get more subscribers it means I can make bigger projects for you guys anyway let's get on so this is literally all you'll need um, some uh, motors are a little bit more pro problematic than others um, to be able to see what's what but all we need to do is work out what each individual wire is and the rest is very very straightforward Right, inside these motors, oh, pointy pointy device, inside these motors are various different named things. Uh, if you don't know what each thing is, there's loads of different places to go on the internet that will teach you all about this. But um, the, we're only interested in a few bits of this, and I'm going to show you them now. Uh, the first bit is the um, brushes. We want to know which, what these are, and where they are, and what wires they've got, um, and also the coils on the inside. Um, once we know all of that, we're pretty much ready to go. So let me show you. Okay, so these are the brushes here. There's one either side of the motor. And these have a little spring on them, which means that they touch this thing here, which is called the communicator. Um, here you can see some wiring. This is the coils. And there's two sets in this one, I believe. Yeah, two sets of coils. One set there and one set you can just see there. Right, and what we need to start doing is um, following wires back um, to this section here. Now, I've kept the plug socket bit because I knew I was going to reuse this. You can take this off and just wire directly to this, but for me, it's a bit easier. Now, if we have a look, the brush goes in this side, get, does um, fiddles with stuff inside there. Um, literally, the wire just goes in, gets looped back round and out. To this one which is the second one up the other side this one is a blue wire even though it looks very black if I scrape some of this rubbish off I don't know if you can see that okay so we know that both the brushes are these bottom two if you have a look we've got the blue and the gray now the next thing we want to do is find the coil wires now on this one it was quite difficult um, you can't really tell where the wires are coming from etc but we know we can discount this, these wires because we do not need to have anything to do with this piece so we know that it's definitely not the top two so actually we've only got three wires that it could be so what I, what you want to do is just if you've got this situation just put one to one side and we'll test with the first two right so what you want to do is connect our four wires in a certain way so the two that come from the hang on the two that come from the brushes and the two that hopefully come from the the coils you want to connect one of each wire together so what i'm going to do is these are our brushes and these are hopefully our coils okay so the first four what I'm gonna do is connect 
one of the wires from the brushes to one of the coils hopefully this is the right way around it doesn't you know you're not going to kill anyone doing this and then what we've left with is two wires and then the brush and the coil wire connected together now what you want to do here is connect these to the battery and if we've got this the right way around as in if this these two wires here were definitely the coil wires then the back uh, the motor should spin so let's try it out we've got some washing on let me show you that with a bit of tape So let's go back over it. We need to find four wires. Two which are the, um, the brushes and two which connect to the, wind, uh, the windings or the, um, the coils. You connect one wire from the winding, uh, the coils to the brush and then you use the other two on positive and negative of your 12 volt battery and there you have it. A working motor that's powered by 12 volts. Okay, so it's that simple. Basically finding which which items are the brushes, which are the, um, the coils, and that's it. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more motor related videos in the next few days, well, the next few weeks. I would like to start up my um, wind turbine projects again. Um, and I'm going to look into, I don't know, various other different bits and bobs. Um, and I'll need motors. So I'm going to get all my motors out and we're going to have a little look at what motors I've got for what projects. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.